What's up? Should I snuff you right now? You want me to go on in? What's good? So guys, a lot of the American rappers have got fans over in the UK and London and come over here to perform their songs. Over that, over that circle of body, I want FA. All the way, I want this shit to be split down the fucking middle. We gonna, we gonna turn all the way to... While over here, oftentimes they find themselves getting into trouble. They can be targeted by London gangs because of the amount of expensive jewelry they wear. We're gonna go through a few examples today. Leave a like on this video if you guys want to see me make a part two. ASAP Rocky in 2015 April was in London in a bagel shop and got into a verbal altercation with two men. This one I can play the full clip. The next two escalated, so I won't be able to show the full thing. What's up? Should I snuff you right now? You want me to go on? In? What's good? Yeah, you got all, all my boys I don't give a fuck, nigga. What's up? Bro, I'm not your nigga, bro. What's like, up? What? Don't throw shit in my car. You don't know me, nigga. Where are you, bro? Fuck out of here, nigga. I'll fuck you up, nigga. Come on, boy. Pussy, nigga. Do you want, bro? 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 Do you want, but anyway, ASAP Rocky did respond to this situation, saying, "End be dying for a lawsuit. I learned my lessons in the past with you so-called tough guys. I'm too cool. I got dollar now and plan on keeping it too. I'm not sure on what went down off camera to wind him up so much, but he seems to think they wanted a lawsuit against him and was just attempting to wind him up so he'd done something to him. Then rather than fighting back, they'll just go to the police and then sue him for money. I'm not sure if that was actually the case. Most nights in a London shop somewhere, if people have had enough liquor, arguments can start over nothing anyway. But it was good to see ASAP Rocky keep his cool in this situation. He was abroad and couldn't got locked up in a country he weren't even familiar with. ASAP Rocky, a few years later, would release the song Praise the Lord and put Skepta on that feature. So I guess it's no hard feelings against the British people. Next up, we have the rapper Lil TJ, who managed to get in back-to-back -back situations when he was touring around London. He had a show in a British city called Southampton, and after, people attempted to take his chain off him. The only thing it can be described as is a failed robbery attempt. A few people got knocked out by little TJ's crew, including a bystander that wasn't even involved. I can't put it on YouTube, that's why I showed the pictures. You guys can watch it over on my Instagram at Fezify if you want to see exactly what happened. Little TJ did after respond to the situation on his Instagram story. A nigga child really take my chain. It would have been a lot of those right there. Shortly after, little TJ got into another incident in London where someone was saying something in a crowd, it seemed, and he challenged him to come up on stage. <laughs> Come on, I said. Next song. 
Little TJ seems like he's really up for throwing them hands. Maybe he can be the guy to finally beat Jake Paul. All these other celebrities just keep losing to him. Lastly on this list, we have YBN Namir. The popular musician who was set to perform in London, Camden, was filmed allegedly joining in with an attack before his crew tried to restrain him. The footage would show the rapper kicking a man in the streets during a brawl, but we don't know who started the incident. The unknown male victim is seen attempting to protect his head as he remained curled up on the pavement before being dragged away. After, on a post on Twitter, someone tagged the rapper saying proving all the haters wrong and showing why he's indeed Mr. Bounce out with that 4-4. And he said be for real and also still knocking beep out and all that with the jury on. Again, this footage will just get removed from YouTube if I post it up or even on my Instagram because of the nature of the incident. I'll put it up on my Snapchat, which is at Fezify. You guys can go add me. I'm back on that now anyway. There was also another angle of the footage where these men were claiming to have robbed the rapper that I just spoke about, YBN Namir. They post up with a chain and he denied that they ever robbed him. Fuck YBN Namir, These American you think they Come on, hey, niggas get sucked on the cart line. We smoke to you, blood, you pussy. Leave it in the streets. Always been that type of nigga. I'm always leave it in the streets. I'm always leave it in the streets, nigga. I'm always leave it in the streets, nigga. With my chains on, nigga. I'm always leave it in the streets with my chains on, bitch. US tour coming soon, man. Man, shout out YB and a whole lot of YB and shit, man. Niggas already know how we coming, man. Hey. Time for me to get off live. Niggas already know what time it is. Come on now, bro. Be for real. The rapper also went on Vlad TV and cleared up the situation, saying it must have been one of their boys' chains they just filmed to look like they robbed him because they hadn't, and that he had all his chains and no one managed to take it off him. It was all fake. For the most part, the British rap fans, and especially me, I like it when Americans come over it and perform. We listen to their songs, they're overseas, but seeing them in person is a whole different feeling. But there's a select few people who try to take advantage of maybe them having expensive jewellery or even loads amounts of cash on them and try, mostly try, to rob the rappers. Most of the American rappers have a harder time in their own country anyway, so know how to move when they come to the UK, so it's not going to put them off coming over it. Leave a like on this video if you guys want to see a part 2, and make sure you subscribe with that notification bell to make my day and become part of the channel and its following. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.